Hey everyone, Kevin Luther at Blackwater Designs showing you the Control 4 2.0 interface on the 7 inch in wall touchscreen. As you can see, it looks a little different. The icons are a lot different in the sense that there's no more radio music, TV, or video icons that you're used to seeing. If you don't have a source in a room, like in here, we're in the kitchen, so we don't actually have any TVs, you don't actually have the icons at all. So let's go listen and let's see what we have. So we have My Music, Rhapsody, Zones, Now Playing. These four are the key features for audio. The rest of the icons are all analog audio sources that can be played in the room. So My Music is all of your locally stored music, whether you have a network drive, a USB drive, or it's stored on an HC500 or an HC1000. In my case, I have an HC1000 with some music, and then I also have a 10 terabyte network drive that stores everything as well. So one of the new features is you can push and hold your finger, slide it back and forth and go to the letter. When you release, it goes to that letter, of course. My albums is the album art view, same feature with the album art and the letters. And it, as you can see, it loads music much quicker. Also, the other option for the albums is to list it this style as well instead of the actual album art. So security is done a little differently. You have some IP cameras. I only have two. I have a small Panasonic Wi-Fi PTZ camera that I have on my back patio. Um, it lets you control it right from the small part so you can actually control the camera just like this. Or you can go full screen with it and do what you want as well. Let's go to the thermostat. We have full temperature. I have the left side of my house actually go up a little higher, save electricity at night since nobody's on that side of the house. And then my side actually kicks on. And this actually just turned on about 10 minutes ago and it's set up to 78 at nighttime. This is part of the built in programming that you can set yourself right here on the touch screen. One of the cool features is no matter how many thermostats you have, they're all on one page now. So if this was just full of icons, we could actually scroll here, but you see it's grayed out because I only have two. So there's no more changing rooms, trying to figure out which room controlled what thermostat. It's all on one page now. Lighting's redone a little bit different as well. You have your scenes that can be assigned by your dealer. You can have specific scenes in specific rooms and also set up what order they're displayed in. So as an example, the scene right here will actually control the lights. So it's pretty straightforward. Lighting is done differently now. When you push and hold, the icon pops up, and you let go, and that actually sets the percentage. So let's look at we'll, uh, we'll light up a couple things just to give us a little more room. See, so it's pretty pretty easy. Or we could have just done that. Or same thing with all the scenes. So let's say you want to control a light in another room. You can touch on the rooms, and then if you look here, you see how the gazebo does not have a dot next to it. It's not green, it's gray. That means there's no lights in that room. So if I touch the family room, it's going to pull up the lights for the family room. I have some lights in an outside room, same thing. Or you could actually view all the lights on the floor level if you have multiple family, like multiple levels. And when you're done, you can just go back. One of the great features that Control 4 has added is the 4Store. This is an online app store. You can go to 4Store.com. It's the numeral 4. Store.com. Register. And then you can come onto here after you've logged in with your username and password and purchase applications. So as an example, if you want to look at the Facebook app. You can look at information about it. It tells you what it runs on so you don't actually buy an app that's not supported. You can click buy and purchase the app and download it. So we're going to go back out, and let's go back once more. Actually, one more feature that's cool is for the parents, you can actually lock purchases out right here so your kids can't buy anything. All your purchase apps go under My Apps, Weather and News from Yahoo are included. So if you want to look at the weather for where you are, it's actually set by the zip code where you live. Your dealer would set that into your system. 
If you wanted to change Fahrenheit or Celsius, it's just a tap away. You can search for cities. Let's say you're going on a trip. You can pull up the main cities and look at, let's say we want to look at Alaska. There it is in Alaska, much different than Arizona. And let's go back. So there's news from Yahoo, top stores, US, BBC, all the, you know, the good stuff. Some of the cool features for 2.0 is you can change the background. I have a different, oops, I'm sorry, I touched the wrong room. We're gonna go to the beach. So here's the beach background. And let's check out the boring default background. I prefer midnight blue is what it's called. It's just a really cool looking background. So that's how quick it is to change the background. This is per device. So if you want to do a different background on the touch screen in one room versus the other, it's all up to you. You've got your normal stuff, you know, controlling the backlight level. And I got figured it again. One other cool feature is you can now control a custom layout on your screen. It takes a little bit of setup. You need to actually create some shortcuts, but some of the stuff's built in for you. This is something I already set up at one time. So we have custom home select, and now when you go to the home screen, you have shortcuts to different devices that you didn't have before. And if you want to revert back to what you had, let's say you actually hid the settings icon, the four button gets you back to your standard layout, where you can go in and disable the four, if you know, the custom four if you no longer want to use it. So that's the uh, seven inch touch screen for the most part. It's pretty pretty much the same to a certain degree, but adds a lot of new features overall. Okay, I showed you guys the kitchen touch screen. Now I'm gonna show you the on-screen interface from an HC200. This is a 720p interface, so it's all HD and it looks great and crystal clear. So as you noticed in the kitchen, there's no more radio, music, TV, video icons that are grayed out when you're not using them. In the kitchen, you didn't see the watch icon because there's no TV. So under watch or any available video sources and then movies is going to be the actual control for media player that has the movie stored on a network drive. So you have two interface methods. You can actually look at it and list a view like this or you see at the bottom it says press guide for grid view. So if you press guide on the remote it's going to change everything over to the actual album art view. If you click a movie it's just going to show you the details and you can play the movie. So you hit four, go back home. Everything's pretty much the same as the touch screen, just bigger. So, if you need help seeing what temperature it is, you can go to the thermostat and there it is. Lighting is a little different than the touch screen in the kitchen. Things are kind of flipped around. Your lighting scenes are on the left side and your lights are on the right, which isn't a big deal. But something really cool is, so let's say you want to actually adjust. We're going to do the front cans, which are going to be in front of the TV. So it tells you at the bottom, press and hold page up or down. So I'm going to hold page up and you can see it starts to climb, you let go and it executes whatever that light level is. You can hold it back down and that's how you actually control the lights. So you can do different lighting scenes and you can actually, your dealer can select which scenes and lights are available. I like to control the lights from my kitchen so that's why I have kitchen lights in here as well. You can go to rooms and change what room your lights are actually controlling in the whole house as well. So it's very easy to use and it's very cool. I'll actually show you the, uh, the local stuff. If you want to look at the temperature, the weather basically for the next week right on the touch screen, you can go to the weather which is built into all the interfaces on 2.0. We're going to select local which will be set by your latitude and longitude of your house, which your dealer sets. So here's an example of where it is. We're in Peoria, Arizona. It shows what time it is and the forecast for the week and you can see on the right it's from the weather channel. Okay so this is the SR250 from Control 4. I brought you guys outside to show you some different things you can do with the remote. An example is you can have the same light switch in multiple rooms of your project. So as an example I have the lights for my barbecue and my back patio in the room that's called the pool. So on the remote we can go in and hit 10% right there, 20%, whatever, whatever you want to control the lights. Zero actually turns it off. And then I'm going to hit the back patio lights, which you'll see kind of light up in the background. It's all really simple things. You could also have access to lighting scenes. These are all scenes that are set 
per room. Right on the remote. So, I mean, we're outside ready to do whatever we want. Let's go, let's do some music. So, you have access to your full library. You also have access to almost everything Rhapsody does, except for the search function. So, we're going to go to channel guide. We're going to select top channels. And let's just play some smooth jazz. So you press play now, it's kicked on the amp in the rack, and it's cute, it's asked Rhapsody to start playing music. You have volume control outside, we have everything.